Yo, what up, peeps? It is now time for 2018 Downers Optic Football four box break number one. All right. It's only a four box break. Let's see what we got here. So we're gonna pick the top four. Put this away. There you go, G man. Appreciate you, my dude. Knock that thing out tonight. I'm hoping for the Marlins, man, because it, it, it feels like, you know, last year was kind of cahoots. He pretty much uh, traded Giancarlo Stanton to the Yankees for like a ham turkey sandwich or something. What's up, William? First time breaking with us? Nice. Appreciate you, my dude. Welcome to the room. My name is Jesse. Hopefully, uh... I can hit something big for you here. What break are you in, William? Hopefully the Marlins are way more competitive this year because last year we were a steaming hot pile of garbage. Nice, William. What team do you have in this break? All right, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. Well, for starters, a DJ Moore Elite Series Rookie Auto for the Panthers, and it's numbered 15 of 15. A little eBay 101 if you're into that. Very nice. Deshaun Hamilton Broncos 299. Jameson Crowder Redskins 299. Barry Sanders insert for the Lions. Oh, playoff football tomorrow. Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs 149. You got Texas, Texans, Panthers, and Bucks. Dude, already got a hit right there, William. Very nice. I hear you, G-Man. I, I ain't mad at that at all, bruh.
New guy mojo is strong in here. Dylan Cantrell of the Chargers today. You know? The Eagles insert Alshon Jeffrey. Sam Darnold Jets to 25. Leave Van Cowboys to 189. Alright, that is one box down. Still got three more to go. Got a little water. So Fitzy, how you liking the new pad so far? What time does the heat play? I think we play at 7.30. Ooh, Portland and Oklahoma play tonight. Wizards heat at eight. Okay. You got you got a pool. You got a man cave. What's 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 the layout of the uh, of Chateau Fitz? <laughs> I entertain myself. No pool, but you got a man cave. Uh, yes, it did, Smokey. Yes, it did. Uh, video is up on YouTube. You got an autograph, if I'm not mistaken. I, I can't remember who, though. A text from the Mossman. I need to text Jason, but let me let me finish this break, so then I'll talk to Jason. Alex McGall for the Seahawks. That is 223. So I went back to the gym last night for the first time in like over a year. Kind of proud of myself. I just got to keep it up. I already got my gym bag packed. Going to go later tonight. I'm going to focus on cardio for like the first two weeks. Mike White, 1099 Cowboys. I I was on the treadmill yesterday for 20 minutes. Then I, went, I, was, I, then I was on the bike for another 20. 
Marlon Mack, 299 Cowboy, uh, Colts, I'm sorry. And then I shot around, you know, played a little basketball by myself for another 20 minutes, stretched and all that. Dude, by the time I got home, I was freaking, I was so tired. I'm so out of shape. But it's good. It's hurting good. Golden Tate Lions, 2149. Joe Mixon Bengals, 199. Trying to get right. Kiki Kuti Texans, 199. downtown inserts yet where are they lurking Baker Mayfield probably going to be rookie of the year what do you guys think I think it's between him and Saquon if Lamar Jackson would have started earlier than week 11 He'd probably be in the discussion as well. But I think it's between Baker and Saquon. And I'm going to give a slight edge to Baker. He broke the rookie record for most touchdowns. So there's that. You think it should be Barkley? Yeah, I know, Saquon Barkley is a beast. And it's not just what he was doing, rushing the ball, but he was also catching the ball too. I think he had like close, like over 80 receptions or something on the year. I could be wrong. But, I mean, we can't underestimate what Baker Mayfield did too. You know, he broke the rookie record for touchdowns. And... He got the Browns seven wins. Both both rookies had really good seasons. But I would give the I would give the slight nod to Baker because of the Cleveland Browns. How he was able to I don't want to say rejuvenate that franchise, but that's what it feels like. It feels like the Browns are going to be really competitive from here on out. Like, barring any injuries, you know, or anything like that, it seems like the Browns are going to be really competitive moving forward. Whereas the Giants, not for nothing, the Giants kind of just sucked all year. Make of it's Patrick, Dolphins out of the 75. I'll let it Giants 189. 
Todd Gurley Rams, two ninety nine. Antonio Brown Steelers, two ninety nine. Antonio Brown should get traded, man. Get get rid of that guy. Jameson Crowder Redskins, two ninety nine. He's in his thirties. He's not getting any younger. They might as well get rid of him. DJ Moore Panthers, one ninety nine. That guy is is. A low-key cancer in that Steelers locker room right now. Derek Barnett, Eagles insert. What's up, Jason? Dude, definitely. I mean, the Browns haven't had like I, I think uh, it's a crazy stat, but they had more they had more wins this past season. Than they've had in the last five. That is a crazy, crazy stat. Jordan Lasley Ravens to 299. If the Browns could add like a maybe another running back to complement Nick Chubb, I mean they got Duke Johnson, but he's you know he's been injury prone his career so far. Maybe add another receiver. I like that you know I like Njoku at tight end. I love Jarvis Landry of course. That guy's a beast, but but they need somebody. Like they need somebody. They need they need a burner. They need they need a speedster on that team. Because while though Jarvis Landry can catch anything you throw at him, he doesn't exactly have that getaway speed. You know, he's shifty, he's quick, and, and, and all that good stuff, but he just doesn't have the burners. He doesn't have the jets, if you will. I was going to say, maybe Antonio Callaway could be the guy. You know, that be that deep ball threat. But the Browns are definitely on their way. The Giants, on the other hand, Eli Manning might not come back. You know, they might trade Odell. You know, there's there's a lot, a lot going on out there. box here. Last box mojo. Let's see what we got, yo. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's a downtown, and it's for Jimmy G of the Niners. Jimmy Garoppolo. It's a shame he went out early uh, in the season. I was looking forward to see if he was the real deal or not. It remains to be seen. To me, anyway. Melvin Gordon Chargers to 50.
Cameron Wake of the Dolphins to 189. For the Packers, Jamon Moore autographed to 50. Jones Bucks one eighty nine J J Eagles two thirty nine Darius Fountain Colts two thirty nine Stack Mojo Denzel Ward of the Browns. Well, it's just a refractor, I thought it might be numbered, but it's not. Second Barkley Giants rookie. Jim Moore of the Packers, 29. Let us see an insert back right here. And that is going to do it for the break. All right. So to recap, we got Jimmy Garoppolo of the Niners downtown. Autographs are J. Moore Packers to 50, Mika Fitzpatrick Dolphins to 75, Alex McGall Seahawks to 35, and DJ Moore of the Panthers 15 of 15. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it right out to you.